just on that, Paul, uh, challenging Heath Hocking, what's the, the basis of the, the challenge going to be? Well, we'll um, uh, we think it's uh, it, it's all about the reasonableness of the tackle, so uh, that's that's what we presented at the tribunal this evening. So um, um, we will uh, we will go forward and uh, and challenge the uh, the verdict of the, the match review committee, and uh, it will be up to the tribunal to determine um, whether the tackle was reasonable in the condition or not. So you obviously think it is. Yeah, that's why we're challenging. So, uh, yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll know, I think we'll be on fairly early, I would suggest. I don't think there's going to be too many tribunal cases this evening, so um, I think we'll probably have a verdict reasonably early in the day. Just, just on the tribunal, are you surprised at the Bo Waters verdict? Uh, no, look, I, I, you know, that's, um, uh, they've, they've got a lot of things to consider, the match review committee, so uh, I, can, I can actually understand where they were coming from with that one. Um, and uh, that's, that's, I think it's fair and reasonable. Were you surprised when the Hocking verdict came down yesterday, or given the history of the, the sling this year and the fact that Kerr did hit his head, you sort of feared that he, he might get a week? Oh, look, you're always concerned. Uh, there was a lot of uh, publicity about it, so we knew that the match review committee would, would certainly have taken a look at it. And, uh, um, and we understand where they're coming from, but uh, it is the system that we have a right to challenge that, uh, that decision by the match review committee. On the injury front? Um, the long list. Uh, let's start with Job. Uh, has he pulled up? Yeah, look, he's pulled up really well. So uh, we're uh, so the, the two boys with concussion are, are Job and Andrew Walsh, and uh, um, they're both feeling a lot better now. And uh, you know we, what what usually happens with these sort of situations is you do some testing, do some early in the week, you do some later in the week to make sure that they, you, you don't play anyone if there's uh, there's any sign or danger that they can have further damage. So. Uh, but the, the signs for both those players are pretty good early on. Cranberry? Cranberry, yes. So he's, as everyone's aware, dislocated shoulder. Uh, he's been ruled out for this week. And um, a final decision on him after that will uh, be determined once it settles down. So we just need for it to settle down. And then uh, we, I would suggest by, uh, by early next week, uh, probably by Monday next week, we'll know whether he'll play or not ongoing or, or whether that's uh, the year for him. Is there a chance he could play a bit like Hamish Hartlett at Port Adelaide with it and he's been able to get through it a few weeks? Yeah, there's a number of players that have been able to, but they're all very individual and, and individual circumstances. So, um, And we just need to weigh that up we, and get the opinion of the surgeon as well. He had uh, he had a shoulder reconstruction five years ago and uh, the surgeon, Greg Hoy, uh, did that particular surgery. And so we're following up with him as well and getting his opinion. So. Um, so there's a, there's a lot of things that come into play and it is very much an individual situation but we're going to let it settle first and, uh, and then we'll make a call uh, early next week. Was that on the same shoulder, Paul? Yes, yeah, same shoulder, yeah. He'll need a surgery one way or the other, whether it's in the coming weeks or at the end oh, of the I day. suspect so, yeah. 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 And Hurley and Pears? Yeah, well, they're, both, um, they're both very good chances to play this week. They've got to get through a week of training. Um, but we're, we're pretty confident uh, that both those, those guys will be available. You see Paddy Ryder running laps out there, looks like he's got a bit of strapping on his left shoulder, Any, anything in that? Nothing, there's nothing too major with him. Um, there's probably about five guys that are really sore, just got sore spots, bruises and bumps, and so, uh, um, and that's not unusual, that's almost every week we have that, and we've got eight days to prepare, so all those, those five or six guys that are a little bit sore, um, you know, they've got, they've got a fair bit of time. We spoken about it on briefly on radio yesterday. Mark Harvey was talking about the amount of injuries Fremantle's had as well. Is that something you need to look into as a club? Do you think the sub rules come into this? How do you, well, how will you sort of tackle looking at it at the end of the year? Yeah, well, there's always a lot of variables that come into it. So uh, um, you know, we'll, we'll certainly look and look at uh, the year and uh, and and you know the pros and cons. A lot of these injuries, uh, um, there's not much you can do about them. They're impact injuries. We've had a lot of those this year. So. Um, they're disappointing. Um, there's, a, there's an element of luck involved in those, and uh, um, there, there's not a lot I think you can do even from a planning perspective going forward. Um, but certainly, uh, um, the soft tissue injuries you, you do uh, compare this year to last year, and you uh, and you work out why things might happen. Every club does the same, and then I suppose from the sub rule, what the AFL will do, and they've, they've made it clear to everyone this is what they will do is they'll have a look at the end of the year and, uh, and see if there has been a, a higher incidence of injuries or not um, over the course of the year, and particularly probably in the second half of the year would be the interesting stat. We saw Jetta and Gumbleton going for scans yesterday. Anything wrong with them? No, they look, they're, 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 uh, Gumbleton didn't play on the weekend, so, uh, so here's just a follow-up from one from a couple of weeks ago. 
and uh, Jeddah, no, that nothing, uh, we don't think there's anything untoward with him either. He's one of those five or six guys that are pretty sore, so we often, we routinely scan people just to make sure that there's no, no damage, and which is the case with him. Yeah. Andrew, sorry. Yeah. Uh, Andrew Welsh has had a pretty luckless sort of year. I think he's had a contract in here. Are you in discussions about the next contract? Uh, look, no, we, we don't comment on contract um, discussions. No. Yeah.